In this tutorial, we will see how to set up Dracker Trail in a sample scene. I have prepared a scene with an animated character wielding a sword. First, let's make sure the scene contains a Dracker updater, as Dracker Trail will rely on it. Add a new game object as a child of the sword and assign it the Dracker Trail component. Set it up with 10 steps to give the trail a certain length and synchronize it to 30 FPS to ensure the trail maintains a consistent length even if the frame rate drops. Adjust the bound size to encompass the trail and determine its visibility to Unity's renderer. Then use the viewport handle to adjust the trail's width so it covers the entire blade. End speed will determine how quickly the trail fades out when deactivated. Let's set it to seven. Set the interpolation to maximum because we want our trail to be very smooth. In the rendering group, note that the object containing Dracker Trail must have its Y-axis aligned with the direction of the blade. Set the material for the trail and leave default as the layer. I've also prepared a C-sharp script to activate and deactivate our trail. The reference to the trail is named trail. The start trail method uses trail.begin, while stop trail uses trail.end. Add the script to our character and configure the trail field. To activate and deactivate the trail, we'll use Unity's animation events, calling start trail, and stop trail. Let's verify that everything works correctly. Also, ensure the system smooths the edges with interpolation. The cyan-colored lines correspond to animation frames, while the blue ones are generated by interpolation. For more details, please refer to the Dracker Trail documentation. 